Good day. How's everybody doing? All right. All right. It's good to be here. Uh, how do you like my background? I, I was using the Aurelia Borealis for a bit. People were saying I was getting lost in it, which if I go too far back, I will. I have to be a certain thing because it's, it's actually my picture. of This is my my emblem. It's D-Boy, West Coast Uncensored. You can't see the D on top, but you see the end of the bottom of the mic and the West Coast Uncensored. So I said, decided I'll make this my, uh, my uh, um, place of uh, my background. Be a little bit more creative, something that doesn't get lost in uh, getting lost in the green and the blue and the black of it. Many people were saying that I would lost and it, it would uh, disfigure me a little bit, but that's because of going backwards like this. See how can get lost because it's a background image. But anyways, man, I really appreciate you. I told you I'd get after interviews. We had we had four, six interview sessions with three different people. Um, uh, Charles, who really brought some good stuff, and Vina too, and then Big James C finished off. I finished his off the, uh, yesterday, adding his uh, his um, second part. We will get together with them. Many people ask me about wanting Charles again because he only did one part with him, and we're going to do some more. And they all asked to come on together as a group, and I think we're going to do that. All right, I do. I, that would be fun. And I actually have some more interviews with some other people that shall be uh, brought forth here and revealed soon. And uh, at least two to three more. Definitely, I think two. And I think we'll get the third maybe later. But anyways, but adding to who needs to be here will be here. This is about sharing the wealth of information and knowledge you have. We're talking about getting in your knowledge, right? Getting in your knowledge and taking care of your knowledge. Let me scoot that. Sorry for the movement. And um, yeah, we just want to get into it. And I said, you know what? I haven't done anything by myself for a day. So let's get in a little bit of a word of day, the word of the day. And I want to get into this word of the day on many behalfs, because one of the reasons I want to get into this word of the day is the fact that it is amazing that how I received this, I was really instructed, right? I'm going to be honest, really instructed to do this word of the day and the word of the day's discernment. My, I felt it within told me you need to go into discernment and break that down because you're going to find something there that's definitely it, uh, going. And the thought I was having before I looked it up was I talked so much about intuition and how I was seeing discernment even in the word as being, even before we get into the etymology of it, as being so dynamic into the fact that it's teaching you, showing you that your discernment of yin and yang, your power, your areas, the other side, your degrees, and you can start seeing that you're able to see in the other side of things, the degrees, even if you want to say a dimensional side of it, uh, uh, fabricated within the fullness of it. As you increase degrees, you can increase angles and perceptions of knowledges and experiences. And it's not a, just about always gaining uh, information, but it's also about the experience that you start having, right? So let's get into this. I'm sure you all you could see it. I hit it and it's in a, so right away, let me get my, my trusty gusty glasses on because some things I need to see and look at discernment. Right away, start. There's a keenness of intellectual perception. Keenness, like really clean, like reminds me of like you talk a word, the word decision and you have the word and you think about decision is kind of like incision. You're almost like doing a, 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 almost like a skilled, a skilled, uh, um, a skilled uh, a doctor who's uh, who's really good at making cuts in incisions, making decisions. Right. For us making is kind of like a spiritual incision. We're going within and making decisions within self as an incision. And I've seen discernment like that and also intuition. It's opening up. These are things that we inherit within us, given to us in our makeup that give us power if we start relying on it and we awaken that and turn the on switch on it. So look at that. The keenest intellectual perception, insight. Notice it's not outside, not out of sight. It's insight within that third eye, that inner working, that 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 keenness of intellectual perception, the insight, acuteness of judgment, right? It says discernment. And then you go perceiving of the intellect, uh, uh, the act of perceiving the intellect. So you start seeing this uh, penetration or insight going within, penetrating, going within, goes to the heart of the subject, reads the inmost, notice not outmost, the inmost character, et cetera, discrimination marks the differences when it finds the discernment combines both areas so you're dealing with a duality of 
and this goes into the duality of of the plane, the duality of the of the pole, the pole shift, the the polar that you are, the du dual, the yin and yang, that you're able to go both sides and get a good look at both sides to bring a good judgment or a good um, understanding, discernment, keenness, intellectual property that you you have that's in you, that's uploaded in you that you just need to use and turn on. And the more you use and turn on and come familiar with this within you, like intuition, you even start seeing and knowing things before they happen. You meet people and you're able to discern them immediately and you can almost read their mail, not to judge them in a bad way, but your insight could develop them or it could just give you good insight maybe to stay away from them because of where they're at and what they're bringing and what they're doing, right? Or not getting caught up in certain areas of a relationship with them because you know that, that your insight would be there or even the vastness of somebody going to the next level, you're able to discern through these prom these things that you have, this power that you've really been given, this, this, this next level stuff. Remember I did a whole series on, um, on the uh, clairvoyance and the clairlineance and Claire, uh, all there's five different Claire's, right? Clairvoyance, clairlineance. Let's go to discern. Perceive or recognize the difference or distinction between two or more things. So you're you're able to go into the root of it and able to discern both sides, the yin and yang. Even it's talking about three. Ever see, you seen that new movie called Three Three Body Problem, right? In the, in, the, in the movie, the confession is the science community can't figure out the three-body problem, but the three-body problem really isn't new. It's discernment into two or more, so you can go three, you can even go four. We, I've seen somebody share a video just recently of the eclipse and the eclipse in the past showing that so-called the moon going over the sun and covering it, but then there's another body part or almost looks like another planet or something that was to the right of it if you're looking straight forward into it. And I was like, hmm, that's like another planet or a third body. And then you look at that, you know, third body problem. But this third body problem is really a pyramid. It's the mother, father, child. That three bodies, the lineage of the pyramid, right? It's the connection of us in the th three, right? What we even see in religion, they'll call the Trinity, realizing this is a th faceted thing going on, a faceted uh, information that you're able to receive and process and discernment is part of the processings of it to come with a great diagnosis or dialysis of what you're seeing through your 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 spiritual or your intellect that inner problem innermost it says right so let's keep on reading on the discern watch this it gets really good with the eyes distinctly behold also perceive rationally understand late from the Greek discerner distinguish separate give you truth one side and the other. What is this for this side? What is this for the, and directly from Latin discern to separate, set apart, divide, distribute, distinguish, perceive. There's your perceive perception from the disaf away, right? Separate shift to see, the, the, thus discriminate, distinguish, revelate, right? You're really looking at a mental aspect. There's the word meant we see next. Right, going down, I'm trying to see if this adds to what we're talking about. Uh, amazement, be betterment. This is all ments always dealing with mind. That's what government, right? Discernment. You're able to use your antenna, which you are. You're, you can upload and perceive through your antenna advantages you have when you tap into the uttermost part of yourself as we went to the beginning right we're going to go right back to the beginning keenness of intellectual perception insight and the acuteness of judgment meaning it's precise and i think about a new testament scripture it says you're not supposed to judge anything unless you're judge but it, then it's written later in in, in a so-called paul being the writer right saying that he that judges judges all things and that to me we go into gnosticism you're able to make these discernments of what this purpose serves what this purpose serves and your discernments on key on life situations on people on people situations yourself 
family members and situations. Discernment. When it was, when I was told this, I was like, man, and I seen it. I just was like, this is fantastic because you're seeing that this discernment. And look in the middle of it, it has CERN. That's, that's heavy. Discernment, right? Heavy. Um, get into that a little later because I, I, I'm, I'm seeing that and putting that together, but I'm not going to stay there because that, that, that has to simmer a little bit more to come out to me the way I see it into a different, so I could say it and talk about it in a revelatory, enlightened way, applicable way to us, right? This discernment is something that you need activated in us. We all do. This is what you, when you're going to be able to not make mistakes and get caught up in stuff you should not get caught up in by being deceived by others, because your discernment's on key, like your intuition's on key. Your discernment needs to be on key, right? Your discernment needs to be on key. Keyness. When I say key, it needs to be on the keyness. Your discernment needs to be on the keyness. Because keen is like infallible, right? So precisely like an incision, cutting at the right place and cutting the right line to open up something. Your, your keenness of perception is next level within you. We have these abilities within us. We have the abilities for, like I was talking the uh, other week about how, and I'm going to add discernment in with empathy, right? With empathy and intuition, how, look how amazing that we can go into uh, different zones by our um, discernment, can give you answers when you say you can't find an answer about something someone It reminds me of a conversation I just had with somebody else, and I'm thinking right now, God, this is a really good video for them to see. Um, definitely. The, <laughs> um, 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 what was I saying? That No, it's like a, your intuition guiding you, and the more you use your intuition is like being skilled. The more you trust you, you come less and less uh, not trusting of it because a lot of we've all in times in our life have not trusted our own t intuition right just to be honest we haven't we haven't always trusted our intuition um and then we would talk self-talk later or tell somebody else well i kind of knew and had the gut feeling i shouldn't have and i did it anyways i should have trusted my gut feeling that's your intuition the more you trust your gut feeling and follow it takes you down another path that will illuminate through that path, through that. And I'm also seeing this is also the case with uh, discernment, right? Discernment's giving you path to make choices as you see what both sides, as you're separating both sides to get to the needle on the haystack or the truth of what you're discerning about something, someone, some a situation, whatever your discernment about a spiritual thing, you know, uh, a discernment of spirits. We used to say in Christianity, uh, one of the gifts of the spirits was discernment of spirits, right? You're discerning what and seeing what somebody is even giving you that's good. You can even discern what their gifts are, kind of like your intuition or having some uh, a clairvoyance or um, intuitive psychic abilities. These all go hand in hand. These are things that are opened up to us the more we start with paying our intuition and also trusting it. We go to college, try to go to school, go to college, get degrees and pay our tuition, but we don't give an ounce to our intuition when we don't know. But me, I've been given plenty. So I trust my intuition over anything when I make a situation. And I shared an experience a few months ago, not a few months ago, it was about six, seven, eight months ago uh, that I did to find uh, missing uh, a missing girl in a, in a situation in an outing uh, amongst a lot of people or, um, I trusted my intuition. You can go back and look at that on a former video. And I'm the one that found her. The police didn't. And I'm not bragging on myself. But I really went in on my intuition to lead and guide me and held its trust to trust me that I trust it by putting it on the line. Because I said, I'm not thinking about how I'm going to approach this intuition. Speak to me, guide me. And it did. I believe the same thing goes with discernment. And the thing goes even with empathy. How much dimensional change are you making when you think about with the impact and an empath an empathic using empathy being able to use an experience by you when 
somebody could tell you a story of their pain and you it's not your pain it's theirs but you feel it exactly like they feel it that's transcendent think about that have you ever thought about that those of you empaths really and you might doubt yourself on certain things i hate i'm leaning to the right and left and the, when i go this way i'm trying to like really go the other way right but um trusting it that empathy comes to you and you can feel their pain and how hard it is and you can actually feel it to the core of your soul like it was you but it was not your pain you didn't have the experience they did to receive the pain that's transcendent people so is your intuitions transcendent. So is your discernment. So the word of the day today was what? Discernment. Thank you for the word of the day. We're going to have some more special guests. We're going to do some more word of the days, whatever we do. I, I, we're just going to do it. We're going to keep it going. We've actually maximized being on more, putting more content out, trying to get better at this I want to hook up some stuff today to give me a mic and put hook up in this and hopefully it works through my uh, what I'm using so that I can even edit it. I make edited mistakes still. I made another one by having music on James' first video too long. I tried to intro and, it, and I thought it was 30 seconds, but it was three minutes and it went way into us talking. So you probably missed the first two minutes and 50 seconds unless you listen hard, but it goes away. And then the last 36 minutes are just pure joy. But I'm learning to do this better, and I will keep doing this better. Keep joining us at, at uh, here, and we will keep putting out them who are ready to go to the next level, no matter who you are or what you are or what your, your goals are. Them that are ready to receive will receive. Those who have an ear to hear will let them hear. You guys have a great day.